Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another video, and it is a sad, sad video. It is our last session in the garage gym. We're not even gonna be really working in the garage gym all that much today. We are gonna be doing a strongman session outside. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff, as you've seen by the title of the thumbnail, and of course, we're gonna come back in here and do some more strongman stuff anyway. But today, in a few hours, I am moving back uh, to Cardiff for a couple months, just to finish off my uni, uh, and then I should be back in the garage gym for a lot more, but, what we are going to do is, well, I've got to put all the gym equipment in the car uh, to take back to Cardiff with me. But other than that, I'm going to get in a little bit of a strongman session beforehand and use the loading of the car as the sort of last exercise of that uh, workout. So just have a bit of a loading medley of just different plates and stuff into the car because it's going to be tough. But I think we're going to start the session. Uh, by doing something fun. We're going to try and pull my car uphill. So I live on a hill. I live on a hill. And it's not a very, very steep hill. It's a bit of just a shallow gradient, but it is definitely, definitely noticeable. Um, like if you take the handbrake off the car, it will just roll. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a difficult one. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. I've tried pulling it uphill once before, uh, and I've got it about halfway up the hill. Uh, so I'm going to try and beat that today and see how far up the hill I can get. But the problem with, with it is, uh, compared to a normal arm over arm pull, is a normal one on flat ground, you can build up momentum. Uh, you can get that momentum going and you can usually pull a lot heavier objects a lot easier because of the momentum. Uh, so that's why I've pulled like uh, my parents' much bigger car on flatter ground beforehand. Um, but my car, it's a, it's a mini countryman, so... Uh, it's it's about 1.8 tons, I think Google said. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty pretty not it's not small, but it's not massive. Uh, but the problem with going uphill is we won't be able to build up that momentum, uh, and every single pull is going to be like starting from scratch. So it's going to be a tough pull. It's going to be really tough. So I'm going to do that. Uh, see how easy it is. It's not going to be. Probably do one set of that, and then potentially do some pushes as well if I can, uh, and then come back in here. And I'm thinking we'll do some stone to shoulder to finish off just before moving on to loading the car. So without further ado, let's uh, get into the planning phase of the car pull. So having done the car pull now, it's hard. It's very, very hard. And uh, I'm actually recording all of this post session. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. So the car pull, as I said, uphill, very difficult. Can't build up the momentum. Uh, so I only did the one set as it absolutely finished me. I've never had forearm pump like it uh, but yeah there's nothing more really to say about it other than just to show you uh, my attempt at it show you it and then talk about it afterwards so here is the car pull So as you can see, I got it most of the way uh, up the drive, up the hill. It was uh, tough, very tough. Uh, a couple of those pushes where I really put a lot of leg drive into it. The tire and sandbag I was using to uh, lever myself against kept moving. It was on gravel, so it made it even more hard. There were lumps in the gravel, bumps in the gravel, dips and crap like that. And it was just an incredibly horrible, incredibly hard pull. But, you know, if I get pulling, uh, get good at pulling on these horrific conditions, then when it comes to doing a pull in a competition or something like that, it's hopefully going to be a lot, lot easier for me. That's what I did with my farmer's walk. I trained most of my farmer's walk either here uh, on this gravelly uphill drive or my garden at uni, which is really uneven, rooty, grassy, horrible conditions on these farmers handles that are super smooth, no knurling, really low pick. Uh, and when it came to competition, I absolutely blasted out of the water my entire like previous PRs, the competition. I came second with 80 and a half meters, only ever having done 40 meters before in, uh, 
in training. So uh, it proves that if you train more difficult than it's going to be, then when you come to competition, you might do better on the easier equipment. But that's only due to circumstance. If I could train on uh, good terrain and all that, I would, but I can't. So you get stuff like this. Uh, you get me pulling cars on a gravel inclined drive with a frayed rope and nothing to lever it myself against that doesn't move. So yeah, it's, it was tough. My uh, forearms are absolutely fried. They're absolutely pumped to the max and they're still pumped to the max. And it's been a good hour since I did that car pull now and I'm recording the rest of this video. It is, it's, it's nuts. Like holding the phone up here is difficult. So I think that's enough for that. I'm gonna give the car a push. Well, I have given the car a push. Uh, I was pushing it downhill. So yeah, I'll show you that. So apologies for all this background noise. Nothing I can do about that, but uh, definitely a bit easier pushing it downhill. Obviously it's going to be, uh, but I tried pushing it uphill. I don't have it on video and I just can't get my footing on the gravel. As I said, it's awful terrain, awful conditions. Um, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I did, I did a couple pushes downhill, I'll just show you the one. Very easy, like getting it started is a bit tough, but then as soon as it's momentum, it's like nothing. So did that a couple times just to finish my calves and stuff off like that. And then we moved indoors. So moving in here, as I said, we did some stone to shoulder. Uh, I've only got a 60 kilo Atlas stone, so it's either I do 60 kilo Atlas stone to shoulder or 100 kilo sandbag. There is no in between. It's a 40 kilo jump, completely different implement. It's horrible. It's awful. I need to get some more stones or some more sandbags or something else of different weights, you know, just to uh, mix it up a bit. So I decided to go for 60 kilo stone for reps. These were pretty easy, pretty standard. Uh, I'm pretty good at stone to shoulder with an Atlas stone. So yeah, 60 kilos, like nothing. It's easy. I did three sets of three, just, you know, get the technique down, uh, blast my body a little bit just to finish off, try to do them as quickly and explosively as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you those sets now with the music, and then I'll talk to you guys afterwards. there they were pretty pretty easy obviously first set there I lost my earphone I forgot to take the one ear out completely forgetting that it's just obviously gonna get knocked out by the stone uh, so that went flying but it's all good it still works uh, just the other sets I left that one ear out but yeah they were felt good felt easy uh, absolute zero like bicep pain or anything like that which means I was doing them pretty decently I know my form was a little iffy on some of the reps uh, it's just practice I just need to practice 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 uh, on that. It's not something I've got coming up in a competition or anything, it's just something I like to do for fun. Uh, obviously 60 kilo Atlas stones, not uh, not heavy enough for me to just load to a platform over and over again. It's too light, it's too easy. So doing it to a shoulder uh, is a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, gets me explosive in that um, hip drive and stuff, getting it up. So yeah, it's just something a bit more fun to do. Uh, so I like to do that quite a bit, but 
yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty nice, and that is my session pretty much over. Uh, I've now got to move some stuff around the garden, um, and then um, pack everything into the car, so definitely not the end of my manual labor functional strength training for today, but I'm not going to film any of that, because obviously I'll be working with my dad, working with uh, my brother to load all the stuff. I'm not going to bother filming it, it's not really that interesting uh, to show you guys me loading stuff into a car, even if it is somewhat strongman related when I have to move like the keg and stuff like that, but uh, my plan is when I go back to Cardiff, I'm only going back now uh, for a month or two, so only a few more videos uh, in there until we say goodbye to that bedroom gym forever, uh, but I'm only going to take the absolute essentials for this new program I'm doing, which is the, uh, the Warrior programs by Big Laws, uh, if you don't know Lawrence Chatelet, the very, very well-known strongman. I'm sure if you like strongman, you know who he is. Uh, I'm doing his programs, and they require pretty much a rack, a barbell, and a bench, and that's it. Uh, I've made some changes myself by taking out the push press and putting it into a, a log cleaning press and stuff like that. So I'm going to take my log with me as well. Uh, that's just because I want to focus on log personally. Uh, and there's also a strongman day uh, as part of the program. So I'm going to take some of my strongman stuff, not all of it, like the axle's going to stay here. I think I'll probably leave the sandbag here because I hate the sandbag, to be completely honest with you. It was good while I was trained for having it in competition, but it's something I come into the gym and I never go, you know what I want to do today? I want to do sandbag. It's a bit of a grim a grim thing to carry. I'd rather do uh, the keg or the Atlas stone, so I'll probably take the keg back with me because it's a nice like middle ground weight where it's uh, not too heavy that I struggle to do one rep with it and it's a bit of a challenge, but it's also... Uh, not too light and that is too easy like the Atlas stone is so the keg is the middle ground It's about 75 kilo. I could do lots of stuff with that uh, lots of like runs for distance Loading for loads of reps, you know that sort of thing. So uh, I'm gonna take that one It's probably the best sort of middle ground weight But as for all my attachments and stuff that you've seen me review I'm probably gonna leave them here because they're not required in this program not to say that when I do uh, a lot of accessories I do use them when I'm programming myself, but this program specifically doesn't have them, and this program is what I'm doing for the next 12 weeks, so I won't be in Cardiff anymore when I'm using them next, so they can stay here. So it'll just be the rack, the bench, the bar, some plates, and the log that will be coming with me. Uh, back to Cardiff, so not too much to move, but uh, a fair bit. So without further ado, let's jump into an outro, uh, and then I'll see you guys after that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the more regular videos while I've been home. Uh, obviously, you know, I can make videos a lot more easily when I'm here in the garage gym. Uh, back at home, I have a lot more space, a lot more um, opportunity to film. Uh, because when I'm at uni, obviously, there's other people in the house. It's quite loud. Uh, I'm also not training alone half the time. I've got friends with me. Uh, loads of other stuff like that that I can't film. The sessions are a bit more crammed in. Uh, obviously, the filming's a lot worse because I'm in my room. So getting the angles is a lot more difficult here. It's a lot nicer. i got a lot more space. I can walk around. Could do strongman outside which i know you guys love to see uh, if you love to see it please show me on this video leave a like down below spam that like button make sure you know that you love to see these strongman sessions and i'll do more of the more of them but anyway yeah if you made it this far into the video and you haven't considered hitting that subscribe button i don't know what's wrong with you i'm an amazing channel i'll say it myself i'm absolutely manifesting getting to a thousand subscribers in the next year it's all i want to do i want to get up there this is my absolute passion i love it i love making videos for you guys and I hope you guys love watching them. The support's been crazy recently. You guys have been leaving lots of comments. Speaking of, please do leave some comments down below here. I read and reply to every single one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Toby, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.